Hey, welcome back to Afternoon Break. Students from Richmond Hill just won an award for their device. It's designed to help those with PTSD sleep better. We spoke with two of the students right after that big announcement. Check it out. Guys, first off, congratulations. This is so exciting. <laughs> Thank you. Um, talk a little bit about the experience there in Washington, D.C., what yesterday was like. I know we got to watch online as you guys presented. What, what was that like being in front of this panel of experts and some of your peers out there? It's an amazing opportunity to be here. Yesterday was really fun for us. It was a little stressful going up to present, but after it was finished, we had really, we had a good time at the baseball game. And then just speaking with Samsung employees, we've had an amazing time so far. For those who don't know what your pitch was, what the product was, give us a little background on, on what it is, why you guys chose this one. So we pitched our device called Safe Sleep, which will aid those affected by PTSD experiencing night terrors. So essentially the device picks up the heart rate of the wearer and when it senses a heart rate over 100 beats per minute, it alerts um, our companion app, which we created as well, which will play um, breathing exercises to hopefully um, the user down. And, and why why this product? Why did this one, I know you guys pitched this already, but why, why, did, why was this one close to your heart maybe, or did you feel like this is how you wanted to go with it? Because of us having two military bases in the area, being um, Hunter Army Airfield and Fort Stewart. Um, many people suffer from PTSD in our community, and we thought that it would be a device that could impact our community in general. Now, you guys walked away with a pretty nice award. This year's Community Choice winner is Richmond Hill Middle School from Georgia. Please join me on the stage. Talk to me about what it is and how it feels to have been recognized this way. The award is selected by a voting process, which um, as of this competition ended yesterday. So um, it's whoever has the most votes receives an extra prize package of $10,000. We're really excited to be able to get this. We've had many people voting for us and we've been asking around for a while now. Yeah. How, how's this 10,000, how's this gonna help you guys when you, you go back to the classroom? It's definitely going to help our STEAM program with any other like materials we might need, like 3D printers, anything else we might need for our STEAM program. It'll help us a lot with that. The rising sixth and seventh graders, or sorry, the rising sixth and eighth graders um, will have the opportunity to use new technology that we probably weren't able to use, and I'm excited for them to be able to use it. Are you guys hoping to be back here next year? Are you already planning, prepping, preparing? We're actually just talking. We were actually just talking about that, like helping out with middle school kids as well who want to do this competition. Um, as well as that, we were talking about asking some of our high school teachers to help us and like lead us with this, maybe sponsor our project. It could be really fun to go back to the middle school next year and help out with the new project that they're going to do for Samsung next year. And, and yourself, two young, intelligent women, what would you hope maybe some, some younger girls out there seeing you guys up on the on the stage presenting this incredible app. What, what do you hope that they take away from, from you guys? Keep being amazing, <clears throat> join the STEAM program. We need a lot more women in the program and we'd love them to continue to grow. Prove people know, wrong. Like to see your potential and your capacity to create change because for a while, I didn't think that was necessarily possible. But I think once I learned that, I was really able to push myself and go beyond what I expected of myself. We're only 14 and we're making an impact on not only our community, but also like nationally, which is pretty cool. 